is she in the room with us? Yes. I want to speak to the supervisor. I want to speak to whoever is in charge of this product. Oh, so glad you made it. I'm so glad you could come back. Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Dominique. If you're new here, please feel free to subscribe to this channel and like this video if you liked it. All right y'all, so for today's video, I'm really excited to show you all how I got this exact face. The face that you're seeing right now, no Photoshop, no edits, no jump cuts, like, <laughs> no, well, there will be jump cuts because I do have to edit the video, so. This is a full face of Sephora Collection products. There are three products from the Sephora Collection line that I am so excited to share with you all today because look at the face, how? So these are the three products that I will be sharing with you all today. The Sephora Translucent Setting Powder, the Sephora Micro Smooth Face Powder, and the Sephora Collection Matte Powder Foundation. So yeah, I won't make the intro too long. Let's go ahead and jump right into the face so you all can see how you can literally achieve this face with only, how many products did I use? Let's see, seven. Seven products. And out of these seven products, I believe five of them, you can find them at Sephora. So stay tuned, girl. It gets good. All right, y'all. So like I said before, I'm going to be featuring three Sephora collection products. But since we are on the topic of Sephora, I wanted to stick with that theme, right? So most of the products that I'm going to be using today can also be found at Sephora. So if you're in the store picking up these things and you see something that I used in today's video, you can most likely find it at Sephora or online. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with my brows. I'm going to be using the Milk Kush Clear Brow Gel. I've been using this product for a little while now. They sent it to me in PR and I really like it. I think it does a great job at keeping my brows in place and it not budging, especially when I don't have a hairstyle that messes with my eyebrows, like braids or faux locks, something that I can keep pushed, pushed back and pulled away from my face. Perfect. I'm gonna let that dry down just a little bit. And while I do that, I'm gonna also be taking another milk makeup product. This is their electric glossy lip plumper, y'all. This is some good stuff, okay? Now, if you are a lip plumping girly, which I don't consider myself to be, but I do like the little tingle. I'm not gonna lie, I like a little blah, on my lips. This is so nice. It's not too strong and it definitely helps to hydrate my lips while I am doing my makeup. I put a bit of that on for now. Now this is the only product that isn't from Sephora. So I am just going to speed up this part. And if you're interested in the brow product that I'm using, I will leave it linked down below as well as all of the other products that I will be featuring in today's video. Now I'm gonna go in with a concealer that you can also pick up from Sephora. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I have mine in the shade Truffle. Now this concealer, I use this concealer for underneath my eyebrows and I'm gonna be using it as a highlight for my face, for underneath my eyes. And I really love the, the shade of this color. It's not too bright. It's not my skin tone either and it's super easy to blend out. So as you can see, it does come off a bit on the orange side, but once you blend it out, it's straight, like it's good. You shouldn't have any issues if you're my skin tone. And like I said, it's the perfect highlighting color because it's not too bright. I was just telling my sister this today. I was like, when I put on makeup, like, I want you to know that I'm wearing makeup. I might not want to look like a completely different person. I want people to know that I have on makeup. <laughs> What's the point of putting on makeup if can't nobody tell that I have on makeup? Now I understand, oh, it, it blends in really nicely into your skin. This, that, and the third, which is going to be one of the products that I'm featuring in today's video, y'all. When I tell you it is the spot-on perfect match for me, look how nicely that blends out. It is the perfect highlighting shade. It's not too bright. It blends out so seamlessly, and it's beginner-friendly for sure because of how easy it is to blend, and especially because of the shade. So you're not gonna be left with those halo brows. <laughs> All right, so let's jump into Sephora Collection's newest product, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is their newest product. Now this is their matte powder foundation. I have mine in the shade 56.8N. This is how it comes packaged. Now when I purchased this, this was definitely a blind buy because initially I wanted to find my shade in their micro smoothing powder, which I also have in today's video to feature. I wanted to find that one in my shade because I've heard so many great things about it on TikTok. But when I went into Sephora the last time, I just picked this up because I was swatching out different shades and I I was like, this looks like it could be my shade. Let me not even spoil it for you, babe. Let's just get right into it. As you can see, this is the shade right here. And then it does have a mirror 
inside now there are two compartments you have the product in and of itself and then you have a sponge which you can see I've already used both the black side and the white side I do prefer using the white side of the sponge now I don't know if there's really a difference wait actually there is um, you could tell the texture of it is different so let me try to give y'all a quick close-up the texture of the white side is furry and much softer you can see that then the black side is just your typical sponge like the same sponge that you would get in any other product that comes with it but as you can see the white side is just a little it's fuzzier even the texture is different. So if you pick this up or you're in Sephora and you can touch the sponge, you'll be able to tell that there is a difference between the white side and the black side, which I didn't notice until now. I'm just gonna tap that in. Now there is some fallout to this product. As you can see, it does pack on easily. So just be careful because I'm sure you don't want it to get everywhere. But let's go ahead and put this on my face. Let's see. It's on. It's on. The powder foundation is in the room, y'all. It's in the room. It's here. Can you see it? Is she in the room with us? Yes. I'm applying it directly to my face. And I will even show y'all proof. I'm telling you, this is one of the best complexion products that I've purchased in a very, very long time. It is gorgeous. You can't even tell that I have it on. I did a video over on TikTok where I hid some of my dark marks just to prove that I'm actually putting on the product. I have product on this side of my face. You can't even tell, honey. So I'm gonna do it on my forehead. I do have some dark spots on my forehead. I don't know if you'll be able to tell because of the lighting, but I do have some blemishes on my forehead. I do have a dark blemish right here. And I will show you all how this product does when it comes to covering those blemishes. So we got my forehead done. Wow, this, this powder is gorgeous. And it is a mattifying powder. It's not too matte. And you can obviously use a setting spray that is more on the dewier side if you don't want it to be too matte, especially with the upcoming months ahead where there's gonna be fall and winter and colder months. But if you're good with a matte look, babe, this is that girl, honey. This is that girl. Let's do this side. So, all right, so I have you all zoomed in because I wanted to show you all some of the blemishes that I have on my skin. And I'm going to pack on the product now. Again, this is just for proof, proof of purchase. <laughs> and so let me just place it right here. So well, uh, it's gone, honey. Poof, disappear. Hello? Is she in the room with us? Cause I I wanna talk to her manager, honey. I wanna speak to the supervisor. I wanna speak to whoever is in charge of this product. They don't call this best skin for nothing. Look at my skin. I don't know if y'all can see this line right here, but I'm sure it's like that because I do have edge control on, so the product isn't sticking in that area. I should really be in a support commercial. I gave y'all a close up, okay? No Photoshop, no edits, straight from the camera, Sony ZV-1. <laughs> like, it's actually insane how beautiful this powder is on me. We're gonna go back in with the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in the shade Truffle, and I'm going to highlight my face so I can move on to the next product. But let me know what y'all think about this powder foundation. Do y'all own it yourselves? Are you considering getting it? D did you need this video to push you to Sephora? Like, was did this video do it for you? Let me know because I want everybody to love a complexion product as much as I love this powder foundation. And like I said, I was just in Sephora just chilling with my sister. Like, she's the one that really wanted to go to Sephora just to pick up some makeup. And I was just browsing around and I said, this looks like this could be my shade. I swatched it a little bit on my skin. And I said, can you see that I have it on? She was like, I can't see it. And I was like, okay, cool. Because you know, sometimes like the lighting in Sephora can be a little bit off. You might think that it's your shade and it's not actually your shade. 
girl she showed out at the store and she's showing out at the house i'm gonna go in and blend out this concealer so you all can see just how beautiful this blends in as you can see it's like it's not too much of a bright highlight um the undertones are just perfect it does not oxidize gray on my skin it's just such a beautiful concealer that i will 100 percent repurchase again and again and again and the thing is i went out last night to longhorn with my mom and i wore this out just because it's quick it's easy i'm not using you know a, a 70 80 dollar foundation just to go out to longhorn for a few hours like it's just it got the job done it got the job done this concealer blends beautifully it is absolutely stunning it dries and it doesn't dry down too quick but it's also not runny either you know like sometimes you'll have a concealer where you need to use a fan to dry it down or wait a bit for it to get tacky or for it to get you know to reach for it to reach its full potential but you can apply this nars radiant cream concealer and immediately start blending it in because it just Something about this formula is just so perfect. Another conversation that I had with my sister earlier today was the top was on the topic of makeup. And I guess somebody posted saying like, you know, at a certain age, you should know how to do your own makeup. I'm a makeup girly. So yes, <laughs> I agree to a certain extent. If you are a makeup lover, if you like to do your makeup, if you enjoy the idea of putting on makeup. Yes, honey, learn how to do your makeup. There are so many different videos on YouTube that you can utilize, that you can leverage to help you with your makeup journey. And it's never too late to learn how to do your makeup, you know, because we're always going somewhere, whether it be a concert, whether it's out on a date, to dinner with your girls, whatever the case may be, and you wanna, you know, put on some makeup, girl, absolutely take some time out to learn how to do your makeup and especially how to do makeup that fits your skin tone your face shape what you like to do you know it doesn't always have to be a super highlighted extra face it can just be natural and easy and with only a few products and this video is me showing you just that just a few products to get you in and out of the house and to get you to places like brunch looking extra extra cute extra cute okay <laughs> now when i'm done with blending in my concealer i like to use another brush just to blend out the edges so now i'm taking another brush and like i said i am just blending out the edges just to have that all come together and blend into my foundation oh, this is i just I want this for everyone. <laughs> I want this life for everyone. I want everyone to experience. Is there something about teeth? I want everybody, like I said, I want everybody to experience a nice, easy makeup routine. Like I said, it doesn't need to be hectic. It doesn't need to be all over the place. You don't need a whole bunch of different products unless you want to take it up a notch. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes you want an extra, extra beat face. You want an extra highlighted under eye. Like, I don't blame the girls that do because I am the girl. But sometimes it's just like, you want something easy, lightweight, simple, simple team. Anyways, next up is going to be another product from the Sephora collection. This is their translucent setting powder in the shade Double Zero Universal. Universal is a fact, okay? Because it, I can't even get my words together. There are some setting powders that say that they're translucent, but you are appearing white on my skin. That's not translucent. This translucent baby it, serious she is a serious girl now the way that i like to use this product is by taking one of my brushes this is the same brush i have two of them but this is the same brush that i use to blend out my concealer this is by real techniques so i just dip my brush into the product right whether the product is in the lid or in the actual tube itself and i just tap off the excess this is imperative i tap off a good amount and then I start setting the powder that's on my brush onto my face. And I start from the bottom and I make my way up. And it instantly mattifies the product, sets it in place. Like I don't ever have an issue with this setting powder. Like if I'm ever going to switch up my setting powder, it is just for fun because 
this product works so well i'm gonna again i'm gonna zoom you all in so you can see what i'm doing or and how the product is applying to my skin as you can see this eye is set with the setting powder by sephora i'm gonna tap my brush into the product again as you can see this is how much that goes onto the product and i'm just gonna tap off the excess and then this is how much i am left with and I'm going to blend that into this side of my face. Look at the, look at what it does to the concealer that I applied on my face. It just mattifies it. It mattifies it, it sets it in place. It doesn't necessarily change the color of my concealer. And it also doesn't brighten up my face too much, but it just, it's the perfect, <laughs> I'm fiending over these products, but it just does what it needs to do as a translucent setting powder. Okay, so let's go ahead and just do the same thing for all the places that I applied my setting powder or my concealer rather. So that's gonna be on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, just a little bit, and on my chin. And then I'm gonna just blend all of that out. I'm taking the same brush that I used to apply my Sephora um, Best Skin Powder Foundation, and I'm just going to tap, I'm just tapping in to my skin. I'm not swiping, I'm not doing any of that, I'm just tapping it in to my skin just to take off any of that excess translucent powder that is my skin set with the translucent powder can you like i said I, I want this i want this for us all of us <laughs> i want makeup to be easy for all of us mm -hmm, i do have i lied to you yet i don't i, I can't i can't do it if this setting powder works on my skin tone and i know that i'm a dark skinned black girl okay i know that for a fact hands down i'm dark skinned i'm black okay i love that about myself if that can work on my skin tone i would love to see how it works on shades that are deeper than mine but if it can work on me i'm almost sure i'm almost positive that it can work for anybody who is my shade and lighter it's just it's incredible it's an incredible product and like i said i posted it on tiktok and uh someone left a comment and said that it's finely milled i think that's what makes this setting powder so amazing because it is finely milled it's not chunky it doesn't have any fluxes of anything in it it is a true translucent setting powder all right lastly we're going to be using the sephora micro smooth face powder now i initially purchased this face powder as an all-over face powder right that's what it's used for that it's that's what it's branded as which is an all-over face powder the girls on tiktok rave and rant about this and i was one of the girls that was influenced okay so I was like, let me go ahead and see what this is about i was using it i want to say for a few weeks Whenever, not every time I would wear makeup, but sometimes when I would wear makeup, and at first I thought it was my shade. I was like, oh, bet I hit the lottery, hit the jackpot. And then one day out of those weeks, I just, I put it on and I was like, why is my face so red? And this was the culprit. So I love a good bronzer. I'm not always in a contouring mood. Like I said, it was appearing more on the red side. So I just figured, let me just use this as a bronzer and a bronzer it has become babe i'm going to use an angled brush to apply this product on and i want you all to be able to see the color payoff it's a subtle color on my face but as you pack it on if you continue to pack it on it is the most beautiful bronzer that i've used in in a very long time and even my sister is like you just look so brown when you put this on you look so toasty and we like to say toasty my ghosty. <laughs> when we, well, whenever we say the word toasty, we be like, so toasty my ghosty. Look at this. I don't know if you all can see from right over there, but again, I will zoom you in so you can see the color payoff on my face and why I said it was appearing so red on me. I'm like, why do I look like a clown? I use this all in the areas where you would typically bronze, contour, just, in all the places it is so deliciously good this is the bronzer this is it on my face and i'm going to use it on this side of my face now i 
I don't know if y'all can tell, but this is, let me just show you all. You see how my highlighter is right here? And then right here, you can see how deep my skin tone becomes. It's because of the bronzer. So this is the shade right here. I'm hoping that it shows up on camera, but I love the way that it looks. It, I kind of put it up a little too high, so <laughs> my bad. But I'm really just trying to pack it on so y'all can see the shade and all of its glory. And I like to just put some bronzer on the sides of my chin right here too, just in case I kind of went a little overboard with blending out my chin concealer onto the sides of my face. I also use this bronzer to uh, just kind of like bronze up my nose area. I feel like it always pulls and ties in my makeup look. I'm not necessarily doing it to have my nose appear smaller, but I just feel like it's just a thing that I do to tie in the entire makeup look, like I said. And not only do I use it on my nose, I then blend it into my eyebrow area, and then I also blend it all over my eyelids, just to give my eyelids some color. No particular technique when it comes to blending this shade on my eyelids. I just want a flush of color on my eyelids, so I'm not doing a specific technique, except for staying in a very circular motion when it comes to applying it. This is my face completely done. Like I said, with Sephora Collection products, I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some lashes, put on a nice lip color, and I will be right back. All right, y'all, so I put on my lashes, I put on a nice little glossy lip, and I also set my face using the Mario Badescu Facial Setting Spray. I have the one with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. I love the smell of it. I mean, I love this one and the rose water one. So you can also find that at Sephora as well, but this is the face, babe. The this is what I'm trying to tell y'all. It, it, it doesn't take much to do a full face, you know, and to still look put together. I mean, let me, let's chat about the prices, shall we? So the Sephora Micro Smooth Face Powder. This face powder is only $20, $20, and you get a lot of product. This has 0.28 ounces. I don't know if you know how much that is because I don't. I just want you to know though, that is packed in there. And again, I have mine in the shade Hazelnut, okay, because it, it just bronzed my face up. Do you see how brown and chocolatey I look? <laughs> the translucent setting powder is $15, okay? You get a lot of product. Now, this is a big boy, all right? It's a big boy. We're not baking. We're not doing a whole bunch of extra stuff. We're not, we're not doing that. This is just enough for at least 20 years. You're absolutely getting a lot of product for only $15. This is in Double Zero Universal. And then lastly, the absolute grand resistance matte powder foundation and again this is one of their newer products out on the market i have mine in the shade 56.8 n the words flee me right now this product is absolutely 100 percent worth it for 20 dollars usd you were spending 20 dollars at in and out mcdonald's the same day Invest in some makeup, 20 bucks. My hope for you is that you find your shade because this, when you find your shade, it's hard. It's hard to go looking elsewhere because this product is amazing. There's something on my lip. The link will be down in the description box. If you are going to get anything from the Sephora collection, please, I highly recommend you swatch these, test them out in your Sephora, give it a go, give it a try. I absolutely love these products. I've been using the setting powder for a long while now, as well as the Micro Smooth Face Powder. Now the Matte Powder Foundation, I've been using it for a couple of days and it it's amazing. It doesn't oxidize on me, it stays on, it's just, and the color match is incredible. It is absolutely astonishing to me how I am able to find such a beautiful shade that works so well with my skin tone. Like I said before, and as with all of my videos, whatever I mention in my video, you will most likely be able to find it down below in the description box. You will absolutely be able to find these three products down in the description box, along with all of the other products that I used in today's video, including the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. You should be able to find them in store at Sephora or online. And then everything else that isn't from Sephora, I will also leave the link down below for your convenience if you want to shop and test 
test them out for yourself all right y'all that is the end of today's video i hope you all enjoyed if you did make sure you like this video leave me a comment down below do you own any of these products are you considering getting any of these products let me know your thoughts and if you have questions feel free to ask i would love to hear from you all thank you so so much for supporting this channel and i will see you all in my next one bye y'all